A lot of companies, including several right here in central New York, have stepped up to fill the need for PPE, specifically face shields. Christy, I actually caught up with a company down in Ithaca that's come up with their own solution to this problem. In Kodama in Ithaca sprung right into action after getting a call from Cayuga Medical a few weeks ago. The healthcare provider was having a great deal of trouble, like many, finding face shields. So in Kodama, the team put their heads together here to see what we could do to assist with that. So they came up with a design using stainless steel that could be completely sanitized and sterilized. The company is used to turning out product fast. Incodema specializes in quick turn, precision cutting, and forming manufacturing using sheet metal. Their usual customers, companies looking for prototypes made in a hurry. The team there looked at what a lot of people are doing, and as helpful as they are, many of the face shields out there usually are only one-time use. The 3D printed kind usually don't hold up much beyond two or three sanitations because the plastic gets brittle. So the nice thing about this is that both the um, band and the plastic shield are removable and you can separately sterilize them and reuse them over and over. So you don't have to go back out and continuously look for new face shields. When Incodema found out last week Yuga Medical was sending two bus loads of medical personnel down to New York City to assist with COVID care, some of the people on the second ship offered to make face shields for them. Well, they made 50 shields and delivered them to the buses just before they left. The Incodema team has been really excited to work on this project. It really feels good to the team to be able to help out with this pandemic, using the skills that they have to help out with this face shield. Incodema is making its plans for sanitizable face shields available as a free open source design for manufacturers anywhere. It's available right on their website.